Hey guys, it's Galaxy Girl. Welcome back to another video. In today's video, I have something very special planned. So, I'm just gonna get right into it. If you haven't seen um, my last painting seashells video, then go check that out. But if you have seen my last painting seashells video, then you will know exactly how this works. I'm painting seashells. It's pretty self-explanatory. <laughs> but what I meant is that you will know that I did not paint all the seashells that I gathered to paint. Um, I actually have a few candidates left. So today we are going to be doing a painting seashells number two. <laughs> um, I'm very excited. I had a lot of fun painting the last seashells. So I'm expecting to have the same amount of fun painting these seashells. I don't know. Anyway, let's get right into it and pick this. Okay, we have got the shells. <laughs> Here they are. Um, these are all the ones that I didn't paint from my last video. So let's look through them and choose a couple. Ah, uh, there was sand in the bag. Now there's sand on my desk. Okay, well, that's disappointing. Uh, I'll just clean it. Okay, we've got a lot of small shells, not too many big ones. So I'm gonna have to choose some of the big ones. Oh wow, these are really, uh, there was more sand in that shell. Okay, I think I'm definitely gonna choose this one because it's a bigger shell, so it'll give me a bigger canvas. I don't know why, okay, whatever. I'm choosing that one. <laughs> Um, can, I, can you guys see this? Okay, I'm scooting it up so you can see it. <sighs> this one would be really nice to paint, but it has a hole in it. Maybe we'll save that for another time. This one, <laughs> I don't even know why I got this one. Um, yeah, I'll paint this one. Oh, just drop it. It's just like a nice, normal, medium-sized shell. Um, I kind of want to pick one of the swirly ones because swirly ones are cool. Okay, I'll pick these two and then I'll pick this swirly one. So, we've got a total. Let me clean these shells up. Uh, and the sand on my desk. I'm just put them back to their home to hide until next video. We've got a total of five shells. So we got this one, this one. Oh my gosh, why do I keep dropping the shells? <laughs> this one, this one, this one, this one, and this one. Okay, I guess we can just get painting. Oh my gosh, I'm really excited. Let's, I'm gonna try and do a cool transition. Oh my gosh, they're out of frame. That is not cool. Okay, let's go. That did not work. Let's go. All right, so this shell is finished. I'm very, very happy with it. Um, I just did a little mermaid tail. Um, uh, and I painted it like this cold gray. I painted all the shelves this cold gray because I actually ran out of my white paint. So I had to paint them gray. It wasn't that bad. Um, it was really easy to work with and I'm really happy with the way it turned out. Um, I painted a purple mermaid tail um, and then grabbed my silver paint marker just to do the scales. Um, the scales didn't turn out as well as I would have liked them to, but I think they're okay, um, and I still am very happy with it. Look at the way it looks in the light. It looks so cool, especially the silver. But yeah, I'm very, very happy with this shell. Let's go on to the next. Okay guys, so for this show, um, if you can't tell, I went for this little um, sky look and then I drew some little clouds in and then I drew really cute little faces on the clouds. I think it looks so adorable. Um, I did use my paint 
pens for this um, drawing. I was trying to use acrylic paint to like paint the sky blue, but the coverage just wasn't really working and I did multiple layers um, and it just still wasn't working very well. So I just decided to use my blue paint pen um, and color the sky blue. Then I used my white paint pen to do the clouds and my black paint pen to do the faces. And obviously um, I put a little layer of varnish um, just to protect the shell um, so the paint doesn't rub off or get cracked or anything. Um, and just keeps it nice and clean and it looks really nice and shiny and it gives it a really nice finish. And I'm very, very happy. So let's get on to the next one. Okay guys, so for this shell I decided to go for like a smeared confetti look um, like I did in my most recent Come Paint With Me episode. Um, the way I made this shell was I just used my paint pens. Um, I own these Allery paint markers. Oh, you couldn't see my ring light. <laughs> um, I own these Allery paint markers that I got for my birthday. Um, you can use pretty much any acrylic paint marker. Um, I own these Allery's. Posca's will work well too, um, but if you're looking for some cheaper alternatives to Posca pens, I definitely do recommend these Allery paint markers. They're not quite as opaque as Posca's, but they definitely get the job done, um, and I definitely recommend them. Anyway, I used my Allery paint markers, and since they were water-based, it was really, really easy to just smear them. Then I grabbed a bit of my varnish, which I actually painted on in my painting my art supplies video. Um, and then, oh, it's like dry, look how close it is. <laughs> anyway, um, I used my varnish, and then I put it on when the paint pens weren't quite dry, and it gave it this really nice smeared look and also um since i put varnish on it um it just makes it look really really shiny and nice and finished and it looks really awesome and i'm really happy with it so let's get on to the next one Okay, you guys, the second to last shell is done. With this shell, I just kind of went for the same look as I did with the last um, video shell that kind of had like the same, um, you know, like the little lines and indents. For this one, I just kind of went with like a cotton candy theme. But if you do want to see um, my process of creating this, go check out um, my last seashell video. Um, and for this one, I originally covered it gray. For this one, I covered it white, but I covered it gray, um, like this metallic -y paint marker gray. Then I used the gold to, I used this fine tip and the wider tip to fill in the lines. Um, and I got this super cool metallic -y shell. Then I put some varnish on it, which just, which just finishes it all off. Also, I was trying to add like a metallic heart in the middle, but it didn't work out. It looked really weird, so I just kind of had to try and rub it off. So, yeah, um, that's why there's just a little spot in the center. But besides that, I'm really, really happy with the way that it turned out. So, yeah, let's get on to the last one. Okay, you guys, so I finished the final shell for this video, um, painting shells. Um, I went for this, like, kind of swirly theme, um, because obviously the shell was swirly. Um, so I just put little rainbow swirls, red, orange, yellow, green, blue, purple. Um, I do not think I put a pink swirl on there. I don't think I did. Um, and I just used my paint markers. Um, and then I went in with my varnish, which just, which just gives it a clear protective coat, um, which basically protects the paint from chipping or getting damaged. Um, and also it makes it look really shiny and glossy um, and just finished. But yeah, here are 
all of the shells that I painted in this video, all five of them. So I painted the mermaid one, then the cloud one, which I'm very happy with it. The varnish just tops it off and makes it look very, very nice. This like smeared confetti look, then the metallic one, and of course the swirly one. Um, yeah, I'm very, very happy with it. I want to thank you guys so much for watching. Please remember to like and subscribe. And I have a challenge for you guys that I wanted to start doing. So, um, I thought this would be a super, super fun challenge. So, if you have made it to the end of the video, then if you have liked, subscribed, then comment down below the hashtag of the day. Today, we can have the hashtag be shells um because we painted shells so comment down below shells for a chance to get shouted out in my next video if you've made it to this point um then yeah but i want to thank you guys so much for watching and i'll see you in my next video stay safe bye oh i just touched wet paint Oh, that didn't work out. Oh my gosh, this thing isn't even pumped. You know what? Let's just try and save the desk this time. They're all stuck.